that he can really open the thing up with his ability to score the three-pointer, steps back there and knocks it down. And, uh, you know, a guy leading the ACC all time in three-pointers, maybe just not he steps on the line. You call that a three, but he got to go on the line. So he has four threes in this game, but uh, climbing that chart, Rick Barry, 2,298 points, and Jack now right there in 14th place, closing in on James Jones. And uh, he'll have that number here pretty quick. And also Ron Godfrey, the guy that I remember back years ago. If I'm not mistaken, Ron Godfrey was uh, from Martin Spurry, Ohio. How about that? Well, you're an Ohio guy, aren't you? That's right. Watson hits the first free throw. The couple lead down to seven. Watson originally recruited the FA. He was a football player. Instead, playing for Mike Jarvis on the basketball court. Miami's out rebounded FAU 34 to 18. Well, Matt McCall was telling me before the game how much they like this freshman class they got and the group coming in next year. And you can see why, because they're a competitive bunch and they're out there fighting and clawing together against a very, very good Miami team. Well, there was a mismatch underneath with Tucker guarding Graham, but again, Bill, the entry pass was to the defender's side rather than away from the defender. Deuce to McClinton. Jack had a foot on the strike on his last three-point attempt. Again, here's that mismatch. McClinton jump stop in the paint. The leader won't go. Follows no good. But Juan Jones could hang on to the rebound. And it's saved by Tucker. I mean, just a split second off all night here. I'll tell you, that was another opportunity right there to run ride. They had all the advantage on that possession. Couldn't get it to go in. Graham with the dish off. Royster can't hit the layup and a rebounding foul against FAU. Fighting, competing, challenging up. Boy, Atlantic staying after down inside. Royster trying to gather the thing, puts it up there. Won't go down. Got his teammate up in there helping him, challenging the thing, Watson. But uh, over the back is Watson, and he gets the foul. His third of the night. Miami by six. Collins hands to McClinton. Adrian Thomas feeds Collins. There's the mismatch. Underneath, elevation, domination for Dwayne Collins. Well, it's there all night long, and all Collins did was just seal his man off in the paint. A little exchange out on top. Collins sealed his guy, they got him the ball. And the entry pass away from the defender. Absolutely. It was Graham on a drive, runs over Collins, who takes the charge. Good play by Dwayne Collins. Let's take a look at this post up by Collins. Well, Collins just does a great job of sealing his guy and the movement of the basketball. Another big key is McClinton got it out of his hands quickly so that the entry pass was there. But as you say, the pass is away from the defense where Collins has the chance to spin and go right to the hole. Nice pass. Dues, Thomas lays it in. This is a nice group playing together right now. Thomas is a team guy, makes a lot of things happen, and uh, got himself an easy basket there. Eight points for Adrian Thomas. Tucker on the drive. Off the glass short. Collins with the Miami rebound. So Clinton to Thomas. He lays it up. No! Oh my goodness, Frank Hayes can't believe it. This team has missed so many layups the last two games, he said it's incredible. <coughs> Alex Tucker on the handle for Miami. A well-run fast break, but Adrian Thomas just inexplicably missed that layup. Strong rebound, he got the outlet pass and then didn't finish. Paul Graham for the outlets. Nearly lost, fires a three. Rebound loose. Last touch by Nawaji of FAU. Silas McGowan back in for Miami along with Lance Hurdle. Adrian Thomas coming out of the ball game along with Hurdle. Oh, McClinton looked like he was going to come out. Now Hurdle returns to the scores table. Frank A said, wait a minute, change my mind. You know, one of the things that Fort Atlantic does a really good job of is moving without the basketball. And guys that don't have the ball in their hands are staying active, they're keeping the defense honest, and uh, good spacing on the floor. So, you know, when you got a guy like Tucker on the floor who can really distribute the basketball, handle the basketball, you got, you got guys moving without the ball, occupying the defense.
defense. You're going to get good shots. Cardero to watch and charge with a technical foul, which also counts as a personal. He now has four. And Jack Clinton will shoot the text. It's Jack's 15 point of the night. Alex Tucker, eight assists. Average is just under four a game as the Clinton drains both free throws. And it's back to a 12 point lead, which matches Miami's biggest of the night. Of course, every time I say that, FAU comes roaring back. Well, you know, Miami's got nine minutes now to play. And I think uh, the other night, uh, they got started uh, in the second half and came down the stretch and really played strong. So let's see if they can't uh, really take this thing into the locker room with them down and finish this thing off with nine good minutes. And Jordan's still not happy with our officiating. Collins on a high-low. McGowan brought the ball down again, but threw a foul. Well, he collected himself that time. He got himself uh, collected and didn't put the ball on the floor, which is which is a good thing. And then he got fouled, and that's really what you want. He catches the basketball, he's strong, going back up with it, and gets hammered over the over the back. So Watson picks up the foul, and uh, McGowan will shoot a couple. That's a four on Watson. Cyrus, a 66% free throw shooter, and two for four on the evening from the strike. Seven total points for the junior from Brooksville, Mississippi. You see the tattoo of the state of Mississippi on his right bicep. Eight points for McGowan. This is Miami's biggest lead, 62-48. And FAU with that thin bench have two players with four personals. Well, this is an important possession right here for Miami to get a stop. Graham, short. Rebound McGowan, pushed. Foul goes on Royston. Now, there's no question. There are a lot of bodies being knocked around there. It's like in the first half, it's clearly a foul. And you got to give McGowan credit for hanging in there tough because he got banged around pretty good. And now the, uh, the stamina is starting to take its toll a little bit, I think, for Florida Atlantic. And uh, Miami with a deeper bench uh, shouldn't really have an advantage here towards the end of this one. And no question that Frank A. able to rotate 11 guys in and out of the game. Mike Jarvis has seven scholarship players, I believe, available. And Gallup misses the free throw. Nine different Hurricanes, by the way, have scored at least 10 points in a game this year, which speaks to the depth that you were referring to. It really does. And right now, Fort Atlanta's got a couple of guys, I think, with four first fouls, so they've got a yeah, they're scared of pretty tough uh, situation in the face right now. Washi with the handle is one of those with four fouls. Richardson gets loose and rattles in the two point. I'll tell you what, he is really quick. I really like this kid. I'll tell you, these freshmen from Florida Atlantic, uh, they've got a great future here in this house program. And like Jarvis said today, as soon as next year, we can be pretty good with the incoming freshmen that they, they have, plus these young guys who are playing tonight. Royster poked away a pass intended for Collins, but Brent Royster fell off of the foul. You got a guy like McGowan at 6'9 that can step up on top and you spread the floor. Miami had four guys out beyond the arc and they allow Collins to be down in their own line self one on one. And that's really what you're trying to do is isolate your big guy, get him the basketball, and McGowan can see over everyone and got him an easy pass in there. Miami in the double bonus the rest of the way, they'll shoot two no matter what. As Collins hits the free throw for his ninth point, Chris Coleman in replacing Royster, who also has four fouls, so three hours, one foul away from being disqualified. I think Miami could do a much better job of high-low coach. The, uh, the guy up on top beating the guy down low, a good sign. Miami comes up with a loose ball, hurdle misses. Collins, against three hours, draws a foul. Well, he kept backwards, you know? And again, now that second and third effort is is uh, what the uh, Miami's been missing all 